Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. This is our readings for Monday, September 26, 2022. We have our three readings. Our psalm reading will be Psalm 62. Our Old Testament reading is Amos chapter 6, verses 8 through 14. And our New Testament reading is from the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verses 14 through 22. Let us listen in to the scriptures. Psalm 62. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down? This leaning wall, this tottering fence. Surely, they intend to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Thus, he is truly my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Surely, the lowborn are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Nothing. They are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your hearts on them. One thing God has spoken. Two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God. And with you, Lord, is unfailing love. And you reward everyone according to what they have done. Our Old Testament reading, Amos chapter 6. The Sovereign Lord has sworn by Himself. The Lord God Almighty declares, I abhor the pride of Jacob and detest his fortresses. I will deliver up the city and everything in it. If ten people are left in one house, they too will die. And if the relative who comes to carry the bodies out of the house to burn them, ask anyone who might be hiding there, is anyone else with you? And he says no. Then he will go on to say, Hush, we must not mention the name of the Lord. For the Lord has given the command, and he will smash the great houses into pieces, and the small houses into bits. Do horses run on the rocky crags? Does one plow the sea with oxen? But you have turned justice into poison, and the fruits of righteousness into bitterness. You who rejoice to the conqueror of Lodabar and say, Did we not take Carmen by my own strength? For the Lord God Almighty declares, I will stir up a nation against you, Israel, that will oppress you all the way, from Lebo Hamath to the valley of the Arabah. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Revelations, chapter 3. To the angel of the church in Laodicea write, These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and the true, witness the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing, but you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become rich in white clothes to wear, so you can cover your shameful nakedness and slave to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne. Just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Here and here ends our readings for the day. God's blessings and peace.